We are here on the top level of Coca-Cola Field overlooking Washington Street and the home of the Sabres in the background there, HSBC Arena. We're about to head downstairs to Petty Bones Grill, the restaurant here at Buffalo's Coca-Cola Field. They're going to fry us up one of the specialties they have in the concession stand normally. They're going to take us to the kitchen inside the restaurant, show us how they make their fried bologna sandwiches, and then Mike's going to try and tackle a bunch of them. So here we go, we go inside the restaurant, in the back room of the kitchen. All right, we're back here in the back of Petty Bones Restaurant inside Coca-Cola Field. I'm joined by Robert Free, the Director of Food Service Operations here with the Buffalo Bisons. Thanks for the little tour that we're getting here. My pleasure. I was told that one of your specialties here in the ballpark is fried bologna. That's what we're going to see Mike eat today? That is correct. Who got the idea for fried bologna? I don't know exactly where it came from. I think it's a several hundred year old recipe, probably originating somewhere here in Buffalo. That's what we like to think. Do people seem to like it? People seem to gravitate to it? People seem to love it. Yeah. Uh, baseball and bologna. Which go, which, I don't know what goes better than yeah, that. It sounds perfect. couple of bees, right? It goes right. And a beer. Yeah, nice. Nice. We can get, maybe we'll lay off the beer for the mic here. You know, we got a game to do tonight. All right, we'll, we'll, think, we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, can you take me through sort of the process here, what you're going to be doing to fry it all up? Sure, we have our flat top grill over here. Okay. Uh, basically, we put some very healthy, little bit of a, a butter oil on it. Okay. We'll Sounds very healthy, it butter is, oil. It is very, yes. We'll spread that around. Okay. Uh, we have, how many do you think he's going to want? Four or five? Well, how many do you think he can feasibly do? I think with four it, is a good number. With a good challenge number of four? Four, I think, think would be good. Oh my gosh, look at that. We're going to let these warm up a little bit. Okay. We also have some uh, peppers and onions that uh, I sauteed up a little earlier. See, I'm prior to this. That's gonna that's gonna be the toughest part, I would think, right? Because you, you got the you got the four slabs of meat there, but there's also the peppers and onions have to be. But it just adds more healthiness to it. Yeah, and flavor, I would assume. That's why yeah, you do it. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, I really like there. All these fast food chains are, are going to sort of the healthy. You know, everybody's got a salad for everything. Understand what you are. You're a baseball team. People want to eat baseball food. Fry it up. Throw it on. And, and just re-rack it, right? That, that's so true. We have, uh, in, in that context, we have people come in, try to sell us uh, on, this would be the perfect wine for this restaurant. And I have to remind them, we're a restaurant that overlooks the ballpark. Right. People come in and they want chicken wings, they want fried bologna, and they want a beer. And here goes the cheese. I can hear Mike's arteries right now saying, look, all right, one of these sounds really appetizing. Four of them in a row, uh, somewhat questionable. We'll go light on the cheese. All right, but one slice only, yeah. Well, here's our look from the Labatt Blue Zone here at uh, Coca-Cola Field as we get ready to see Mike gorge himself on this plate of wonderful, these four plates of fried bologna. You got some chips there too. I mean, this is good stuff. How you feeling right now? You think um, you can do this? It's, it's a big task. I think I'm up to it, though, so we should be okay. We're not going to go ahead and time you, but we do have work to do uh, for the game, and we'd like to get out of here by, like, the third inning. Probably. So some reasonable bet. amount of time, I think, is what we're looking for. All right, I think I'm going to go and tuck, tuck this in right here. You're going to go bib style? Just to be safe. Yeah. How about that? And it matches my shirt, actually. Uh, you know, the question is, is this unprecedented? Have we, we have not yet seen this on International League Man vs. Food. The so, bib. Okay, so we got four of these. How, what's the plan here? What's, what's your theory on how you're gonna do this? There, I mean, you can see this sandwich, it's a pretty big sandwich right here. And you got the chips as well. Some gar You're not gonna eat the garnish, are you? Uh, I'm gonna go through with the sandwich first and then okay. see what we can get to. Are you gonna do sandwich and chips, sandwich and chips, or are you gonna do four sandwiches no, and four plates go, of chips? I'm gonna go sandwich first. Okay, well, there's a shot at the bib uh, that he's created for himself. And, uh, all right, let's start rolling here. Here we go. How is it? Well, it's a very rich bologna flavor. It's a rich bologna flavor. Think of yourself as, see, I'm always a big bologna and cheese sandwich guy. That good, that's a good thing. Cool. Yeah. So it's like that. But this is not a regular slice of bologna. You got the extra thick bologna, which is great. Plus, I mean, if you see this all together, 
That's delicious. Oh yeah. Peppers, onions, cheese, the whole shebang. Halfway done with sandwich number one. I'm feeling good. You were confident early, but what, what are we feeling like now after, after half? I feel great. You feel great? And the sandwich is good, which helps a lot. Let's ask Brad. Have you had the bologna sandwich before? That's, oh, this is Brad Bisbing of uh, Buffalo Media Relations fame. So you've, you've had the sandwich? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a ballpark staple here at Coca-Cola Field, you know. It's one of the, one of the sandwiches that is kind of unique to, to this ballpark and something our fans always look forward to. Have you ever had four of them consecutively? I have never had four of them consecutively. It's quite a feat. Um, it's almost a cycle uh, of, of food here, to yeah. the baseball term here. Um, and it would be very impressed. I would be very impressed. Yeah. And, it would also help me because that's less press box food I have to put out tonight for, <laughs> for Mike. He doesn't have to do it. Yeah, he, he's a big young man. He likes to uh, crush spreads. That's one of his things that he does. It's no. starting to drizzle here. Do, and we, that, do, do we need to tarp up sandwiches three I and think, four? I think there might be a rain delay here. I, I think we could... Uh, Robert's got a plan here. Oh, he's going he's gonna to create the tray umbrella. But I don't think that's going to do it for us. I think we're going to have to scramble here. So let's, uh, let's watch the uh, fast motion go on here. Robert is a master of this. You can tell by the way he uh, finds his way around the kitchen. And here we go. We're going to go, I think, top side of the blue zone here. Is that what we're doing? Let's go. All right, let's do it. I couldn't do wings here, which is obviously the thing everybody tells you you've got to do. But now we find the hidden layers of secret good food here in Buffalo, yeah. and I'm very happy about it. All right, stop talking, start eating. As you can see by the look of despair on my face right now, uh, as Jason and myself like to say in the booth, uh, as an inside joke to each other, it's not struggling, it's struggling. And here I am with sandwich number two, and it's a hard battle right now. Um, you know, whenever we go out to dinner, whatever waiters we tend to get always tend to ask Jason, are you still fighting with that? And Jason goes, yeah, I'm still battling, and I'm still battling with sandwich number two. Here's three and four, and they have become my enemies today because my stomach <laughs> is less than the size, apparently, of four bologna sandwiches. But you're going to still plug ahead. I'm going to keep going, so we're going to keep fighting with number two. Keep gonna... fighting? You got like one bite left. I'm working there. Just I... come on. I'm working to clear up some room in the stomach right now and then we're gonna get to number three and we'll see how we do from there. So now I tried to add a piece of lettuce to help me make it through the second one. There's a lot of things that ain't easy in life. Eating a lot of bologna is, is one of them. Some might say you're uh, full of bologna. It's easy when you're behind the camera, huh? You're doing what? I'm throwing in the towel here. Look, you gotta finish number two. I can't You said you'd two. finish number two. I cannot Take finish the, number two. You got it. I can't. It has defeated me. The bologna sandwich here at Petty Bones Grill has defeated me. Congratulations, fried bologna. You were very delicious through the first two sandwiches. You can't say that. Through the first one and nine tenths of a sandwich. However, you have defeated me here. My stomach is full. It doesn't mean I won't be back in the seventh inning stretch, but today, bologna sandwich, I throw in the towel and I, su I, I submit defeat to you. So I want to say thank you to everybody here at Petty Bones Restaurant here at Coca-Cola Field in Buffalo. Excellent, excellent. The fry bologna one sandwich. One of those is mine. One of these is going to be yours, but excellent fried bologna sandwiches. So thank you to the staff here here at Coca-Cola Field and everybody for getting us hooked up here at Petty Bones Restaurant. Give it a shot. It's the fried bologna sandwich and it defeated me.